Well, congratulations, we made it to 2020. We're now in 2021, and we're gonna start off the year by talking about something that everyone should have on their rifle, and that's kind of underappreciated, but that is going to be rifle slings. And stay tuned because we have quite a few to talk about. So before we get into today's video, I wanted to remind you guys that I do have a web store and I am selling merchandise. Um, I do have a few of these 2020 edition stickers um, that I need to get rid of, so um, click the link below. They are on a pretty decent sale with free postage in the uh, United States, so if you want those, uh, click the link below. Thank you. So let's talk about slings. So slings are kind of one of those things that are kind of underappreciated just because not very many people would, you know, think twice about a sling. You know, you kind of underestimate a sling for its purposes. Uh, but nowadays there's a lot of slings coming out uh, that are asking, that are making people ask, you know, what are my other slings doing that this sling, you know, it does better. Um, so one of the things I want to talk about is my Edgar Sherman design sling, but we'll get to that after we cover all the other slings first. So as we talk about slings, we are talking about the function. So the function of a sling is to provide some sort of suspension for your weapon or rifle uh, that you don't have to hold with your own hands. So um, if you're shooting it, you can put it down and it doesn't have to touch the ground, it will catch on your sling. So that function carries into kind of the, uh, the idea philosophies behind the sling. So one of the ideas behind the sling is if you are using your rifle, you are either out of ammo or a malfunction, you can either A, clear the malfunction or reload, or you can, you can sling it to your side and draw your sidearm and use your sidearm to you know, deal with whatever you're doing, whether that be competition, law enforcement, military, or anything like that. So a sling does more than just hold your rifle. It can make you, it can make your whole platform, as far as your entire kit, more um, job ready or task ready. So when we say task ready, you know, that there's a lot of things that are purpose driven. And so we'll talk about all of the slings I have in front of me and the purposes that they serve and kind of, because I'm a very purpose driven person, you know, like I talk about my suppressors, uh, there are, there's not really a suppressor that does everything perfect. Um, there are some that excel in other areas and it's just same with slings. So now that I've talked about the purposes of the slings, I want to talk about each sling that I have and the purposes they serve and how they differentiate from each other. So the oldest sling that I have, uh, I actually purchased in like 2015, is the Blue Force Gear VTAC sling. So it is padded, uh, it does have some padding, which we'll talk about uh, the reasons why I like that and the reasons why I don't like that. Um, so it secures the weapon via HK clips. So this just clips into the back of the weapon, um, which I will show with my 416. So with these HK clips, you just clip it into the weapon. So it has little loops, or my 416 does, and it's secure. So um, that is how it secures the weapon. So this is a quick detach method. You know, you can rapidly remove it as you need to. Um, the HK clips are kind of cool because you can kind of put them where you want them. So if I want to run it as a single point, you know, I can double up here. If I want to run it to the other side, you know, it has options wherever there is a slot to, you know, slip the HK clip. Um, so that's kind of the benefit of the HK clip. So when you're talking about the negatives of the HK clip method, you run into the problem of jingling. Um, so a lot of people remedy this by putting some uh, like a cloth material over the hook, which actually prevents it from rubbing on bare metal. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways you can do that to prevent the jingle. So you can see I did some modifications to the sling and I put some electrical tape over where the, you know, loose parts of the sling were. Um, that's just to keep everything nice and tidy. Um, you know, it worked. I've had this electrical tape on for about two years and it, it hasn't started fraying yet. Um, so one of the ends is actually sewn into the sling, so you can't remove it from here. Uh, but this one actually is removable if you want to switch it out there. Uh, Blue Force Gear does offer, you know, different clip styles, uh, which we'll switch to here in a second. Before we move on, I wanted to talk about the padding of the sling. So one of the reasons why padding is cool is because, you know, it takes some pressure off of your neck. It applies, you know, some, some comfort. Um, it's much more comfortable. But the downside of having a padded sling is that it's just one more thing to snag on. So when you are transitioning your weapon as it's over your shoulder, you know, as, as the fat side goes to the skinny side, it can snag on things as you're pulling on it. So um, a lot of people, you know, that's their problem with padded slings, but 
Um, it just kind of depends on the design and, and you know things that you want in the sling. So if you are one of the guys who is rapidly transitioning back and forth, you might not you might not benefit from a padded sling as much as a non-padded. So the next thing I have in the lineup is the Blue Force Gear Vickers, uh, the VTAC. It's the same sling, but it's non-padded. So, you know, like I talked about, the benefits of padded versus non-padded are still there, um, but this one actually is quick detach. So when we talk about the quick detach method, um, we'll talk about the benefits and the, the cons of that as well. So to show you guys the benefits of having a quick detach sling or the QD swivel sling, um, I will show you on my SR15 the, you know, the sling options you can run. So traditionally, I run the back sling point uh, in the back of the stock on the right side. And I'll explain to you why here in a second. And then you wrap it around the back side of the stock. And then I typically run the front swivel all the way up top. So the Knight's Armament Barrier Stop actually serves as a sling swivel um, to mount a sling. So now I have the rifle attached, but with the QD sling swivels, I can easily detach them from the front. I can run them from the side, just like that. It's kind of the same thing as the HK clips, except one thing that the QD swivel does is it has stops to where it won't rotate. So if you want to set it at a certain degree angle, it will not move and it will just be flat. So that can be, you know, kind of nice if you want to run your sling in a certain manner. Also, there's not any jiggle. So um, the jingle with the HK clips is eliminated with the QD swivel, but that being said, um, it is one more piece of hardware to have in your kit, um, but it's, it's really a robust method of mounting a sling. So I know you guys are starting to see a trend with my Blue Force Gear slings. I really love Blue Force Gear. Um, you know, they've kind of set a standard as far as slings go. Um, and, you know, this is obviously not sponsored by them, but I am a big supporter of Blue Force Gear um, and their slings are really good. So the last Blue Force Gear sling that I have is uh, the one on my M110. So you might ask why I have just the lower here. And I wanted to show you guys kind of the benefits of directly mounting a sling versus you know using hardware to mount your sling. So with the M110 stock, you can actually run a sling through the butt stock uh, kind of like this. Uh, you know, it kind of does a lot of things. So um, you can run it in the top, but I've found that that's just horrible for you know cheek placement. Um, so I run the sling through the bottom of the stock. Um, so this is a permanent fixture, so it's secured by this buckle, and then also, you know, you can't pull it through. So this sling is forever attached to the stock. Uh, but what that does, and I have a QD on the front, so I have a mix and match of hardware, um, and the QD allows me to detach the sling and then, you know, transport the rifle in my case. So that's kind of why I run the you know, hardware on the back, or I'm sorry, no hardware on the back, and then the QD swivel on the front. So sort of the driving force behind this video was I recently purchased a sling from a company that I feel like is just doing things really, you know, the right way, and I love their products, and I love their mission. Uh, it's Edgar Sherman Design. So um, I have two slings in front of me. They're basically identical, but I'll show you kind of, you know, the benefits of the Edgar Sherman Design sling. So like I said, these two are identical in the fact that they are the multicam arid Edgar Sherman design slings with the you know adjustable sliders. Um, but the reason that they are different is because one of them has quick detach swivels and the other one does not. So what Edgar Sherman design does is allows you to configure your sling to however you want it. So much like Blue Force Gear does when you go into their sling builder, they can, you know, you can customize your hardware to as you need but the Edgar Sherman design doesn't sew them in, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't force you to an option and allows you to configure it how you want. So if I want to run a QD on one and an HK clip on the other, I can do that, you know, rapidly, I can change it. I don't have to unstitch anything. You know, it, it's much more user configurable and I really like that. The other thing that it is, is it's very minimalistic. So it uses one, you know, single piece of one inch, you know, very, I don't know what type of material it is, but I'll leave it in the description. Um, but it's very rugged and robust, um, but it's very minimalistic. Not much to snag on. Uh, much like I talked about the padded sling, when you're transitioning, it can kind of get caught up on that padding, you know, when you're, you know, transitioning to your sidearm or dropping this rifle um, off your shoulder. So I'm bringing the SR-15 back out to show you guys a demonstration of the Edgar Sherman Design sling and the slider. 
which I think is super cool. So the slider is actually this piece of plastic, or it's more of like a rubber. Uh, it's very hard, you know, it's, you know, very robust feeling. Um, but the slider allows you to rapidly transition, you know, either tight or loose on your rifle. So I'll go ahead and put it on. So with the slider all the way to the to the front, it's much more tight to my body. It's not flopping around. I can move, you know, if I need to pick something off the ground. I don't have to do the in between the leg dangle or anything like that. Um, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you'll know that it's very annoying to have your rifle kind of flopping around while you're, you know, either moving to the next stage or walking around. Whatever you might be doing, it's much nicer to have the rifle nice and snug to your body. But that being said, you know, you grab the slider and you can rapidly transition and you have much, you know, the needed flexibility to run. Um, you know, I don't really much do left hand work, but you can configure the rifle to however you want it. So the slider on the Edgar Sherman design is, you know, a really cool addition. I know a lot of people do that, uh, but the Edgar Sherman design, it really implements it well. So that's the slider on the Edgar Sherman design sling. So another thing that I really like about the Edgar Sherman design slings is their stowability. So for those of you who have rifle slings on your rifle permanently, you'll know how much of a pain it is when you're going in to grab that out of the safe and then it grabs, you know, five other rifles with it because the sling, you know, is tangled in the mess of rifles. So one thing that Edgar Sherman design slings do is that it incorporates an elastic tab, you know, right here, and you can sort of fold the sling by grabbing it over here and you can run it through the loop and sort of snug it up. And it folds nice and tight to the rifle. So you have your sling on the rifle and then when you want it, you just simply grab it out and then your sling is deployed. So it's just one of those things um, that's really nice. It's a really nice addition to the sling. I know there are some concepts out there um, that you know incorporate like an elastic band or some kind of Velcro around the rail, which are super cool. You can add that to add this capability to your existing slings, but I just love that Edgar Sherman Designs in, is incorporating that into their slings out of the box. So to kind of conclude this video, do I think that Edgar Sherman Designs are the pinnacle of slings out there right now? Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm, cer I'm certainly an advocate of finding a rifle sling that does the purpose that you want it for. So if you want a rapidly transitioning sling that you know is, is super comfortable and you know quick detach and stuff like that, you might look at other options. Um, if you know you're into like three gun or competition style shooting and comfort's not really an issue, you might have another preference uh, of sling that someone else might not have at all. So it's kind of fitting your needs. And for me, the Edgar Sherman Design Sling does all of that really well. Um, that's kind of why I bought two. So the Edgar Sherman Design Sling is really great. The Blue Force Gear Slings that I've mentioned in the video are also great. Um, and it's really kind of up to you and your needs. And I hope this kind of helped you uh, go through and you know check off on your list, you know, I need that, I don't need that, and kind of help you, you know, point you in the right direction. Um, there are a lot of slings out there on the market that I didn't talk about that are really great. Um, the Sierra Attack and Spiritus uh, is one that's really popular. The Ferro Concepts Slingster. Uh, there's so many slings out there that do a really great job, uh, but these are what I have. So um, if you learn anything, comment down below. You know, if you like the video, leave a, leave a like. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys in a couple Fridays.